I love bringing um, lab science and hands-on experiences to my students, which is kind of what's been my motivation and inspiration to collaborate and um, search for resources outside of just the school and the DPS system. Basically, my first summer um, after teaching for my first year, I started collaborations with professors at Duke and one of those professors, Dr. Mohammed Noor, he just had a really um, positive attitude about bringing science to all levels of students and it really inspired me to start developing activities that I can bring to my students here um, at Riverside. Kind of what's come out of a lot of these collaborations and partnerships with people at um, Duke has been some um, activities that have been published. Um, in the, this one was published in the American Biology Teacher. Kind of outside of the publications that we've been putting together, um, we've also developed um, packages so that teachers anywhere in the country can do these labs in their classroom. One thing that's important to me as an educator is making sure that all students and teachers can easily access exciting hands-on activities. And by making these materials available to anybody, it makes it really easy to bring real science into their classrooms. The students love the activities and they especially love um, the fact that we use living organisms and equipment that they know that scientists are using out in the field. And also they've enjoyed having visitors and um, guests from Duke come in, because um, I always invite them to come in and help um, and answer questions that students have just about what it's like to do science every day. Um, so the, the response has been really positive in all my levels of classes, ranging from students who have very limited science skills and English speaking abilities all the way to um, my advanced placement students. My main goal for teaching science is just to have students be active and do as much hands-on learning as possible. 